Hello there, namaste. So, Mark of the Fool, book six, and I gotta say, I really enjoy this series. I can go back and continue uh, reading or reread all the st all the books because it just has one of those things that is completely captivating. For me, the one thing I don't like, because the one thing I absolutely loved was when he got to the school, there was such an emphasis on the classes and everything, but there's so much going on in this story and each book is literally like a three, four month span. And I enjoy it because at this point from book one to book six, it's like, oh, uh, a year and a half has passed a change, it's talking about change. And I enjoyed it because what I wanted was him to break down in tears when uh, Claygon started talking, and he, and he kind of does. It was just like tears of happiness, being excited that his his son has come to life. But I, I love this story. This story really does uh, just build upon, build upon, build upon everything else because they introduced like this villain that's gonna be hunting them for many, many years a while ago and then it becomes something, someone that's helping them out only for them, I think it was two books ago, only for them to take care of the issue in this book. The, the Hana Sim character, that was one of the best because I was feeling like there were certain little hints sprinkled throughout because they're talking about like the Earthborn, the, the many spheres theory, all that stuff was making me think, huh, either this world here is a video game world which was shut down and basically continued on after it was shut down, which is why they had the concept of Earthborn, so it was created by humans as a game and a stage, which is why there are things like dungeons, which is why there was a, it, it was a interesting concept for me. Like the, the game developed sentience after the fact. That's not the case. It's uh, also the, the whole Hena Sim was summoned to the world. Because I was wondering why she's called the Traveler. But the one thing that made me think, okay, she's not one of those summoned people. She's not uh, isekai she can't be because of the sculptures she had uh, put up in her bill uh, in her her sanctum. I was thinking was her race, so I'm like, no, no, they don't have those on Earth. That's not uh, a thing. But it turns out that that's because this would be the second planet she's uh, she went to. There was Earth she was born on. She transferred to another planet, and this is all spoilers from the very end. But it was just so well done. I enjoyed it because it's like, yes, yes, I knew it. I could feel that there was this in the story because I love it how there's, it's showing another side of the world. It's like reading Lord of the Rings or, well, not really Harry Potter, but yeah, Lord of the Rings or some ultimate fantasy where it's all its own world. And then you turn a page and it's, in some book, in some dialogue, it's just like, oh, we found this journal. In this journal, it's speaking of one person who was brought to this world. I mean, that's so interesting. I really like that little nugget to make you feel how more, because there could be more. There could be more. But she ended up, you know, getting a ton of power. She ended up having this. She transferred her power through her corpse to the fool. There's so much in this story. It's rich with detail. I mean, it's hard to find things which don't make sense in this because that's normally what I do. I'll find something or I'm, as I'm talking about it, I, I'll focus on something and I'll just like, yeah, this didn't make sense. This didn't make sense. But the only thing I would say that doesn't make sense is the, the realm of like demons and whatever because their territories are riddled with like fear or riddled with like, I, but then again, you're not supposed to truly understand the concept. They kind of explain it pretty well, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know how that would work. How would there be a realm that's riddled with fear? Um, and then you have that planar uh, doorway or whatever, the whole, not planar doorway, the, the spell to uh, a realm adaptation or whatever it was to make yourself kind of feel normal there, but you're still influenced by the territory. A lot of little stuff like that, which is kind of, mm. the one thing I gotta say is like, so there was this one person that fought Hannah Sim, right? However, Burnsaw is apparently the only one who can sense the energy, even though this person who absolutely hates Hanasum, which is like this, this elite demon, doesn't recognize the power when it's around him, when this other guy recognized it immediately. Maybe it's because it was the summoning power uh, he did. I'm not entirely sure because the second Bur uh, Burnsaw showed up, 
he recognized it immediately. So that's like the one thing I would say, this one guy that happened to be on the battlefield that Hannah, Hannah Sim was on, recognized it like immediately but this person that fought Hannah Sim and hates Hannah Sim because she got away doesn't recognize it I think that's probably the only thing I have an issue with but this story really does continue on the fact that he becomes rich and wealthy through his scheming through his planning it was just like it, it makes me want to write a, a story about basically a, a mad artificer just just someone who's mad because he just reminds me of someone who's who's crazy someone who's just like oh he does all this experimental stuff and it's about to blow up in his face but he always corrects it because he has to <laughs> he almost blew up the place he just got just because he was trying to make a step yeah I, I, I like this story it's incredibly enjoyable uh, I still wish we had more time with Selena but I think we are getting more and more as it progresses it's, easy, it's obvious that they're seeding where his sister is gonna become like an anti-heat mage, where she removes heat and basically makes it the coldest it can be, where even uh, ice mages and fire mages can't cast in her territory or whatever she does because she removes heat. So ice mages can't do much either because she has full control of the area. Uh, and if you remove heat, ice mages can't really do much with it. Cause I'm pretty, I'm not, I'm not sure how the magic, uh, elemental magic completely works, but I already know that that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna turn it into some kind of ultimate ice witch because she learns how to just move heat. And I, I like that concept. I like someone who takes something which sees as a crutch and turns it into this epic type of thing. Uh, I mean, what, what was it? Where it, Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't I don't like sword art online, but what he had illusion magic and nobody used illusion magic because it's like Oh, it's just fake, but he turned it into something great. Of course. This was I think season two Terror not worth the watch, but I, I like it where people use something that's considered weak and turn it into something and Here I, I really am focusing uh, hoping we get more of Selena's story because it is interesting and this one, it doesn't have any time in classes. It really does skip all of that, going straight to the story. The only classes they're in is in Balin's course, and he goes to work. They reference the other courses. They reference his blood magic course. They reference his alchemy course, because his alchemy course is also in Tamlin, because he's part of the research project for both the Balin's course and the alchemy course. <laughs> So I like this story. I really find it intriguing. I just wish we had more of his classes as well. But the problem is if you included all his classes and it is winter break at this point, but if you included all of his classes, this book would probably be two times longer. And this, this already is a hefty tome and <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But this book is definitely worth a, a go through it. Absolutely, this series, this series from start to present, it has been phenomenal. It's one of the most phenomenal because even the, some of the other books I, I was reading, they have their down, they have their lows, they have their highs. This one has just been a high throughout. It knows how to continue, continue, continue. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.